السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters in Islam and dear viewers welcome to a new episode in our series back to basics and we are studying together inshallah because this is inshallah halaqat ilm we are learning our deen we want to learn this beautiful deen this way of salvation this last deen the guidance that came for mankind We want to study it together, learn it. That's why we call the series Back to Basics, Fundamentals. We want to start from scratch. Because many of us, they lack the basics of Islam. Basics, essentials, they lack it. He's PhD holder but he doesn't know anything about the deen. He doesn't know his Islam. May Allah guide every Muslim to the haqq. May Allah bring all of them to the straight path. Ameen. In this series, we are talking about the nullifiers of an Islam, the matters, the things, that will nullify, bring to an end, cancel, invalidate the Islam, the belief. And there are ten nullifiers. We have covered four of them so far. And today we will elaborate also as a continuation on the fourth. Then we will move forward, inshallah. So the fourth one which is very important, it states the following. Whoever believes that someone's guidance, other than the Prophet's guidance, that what the Prophet ﷺ brought, which is Al-Islam, the deen, is more complete than his guidance, and that someone else's judgment is better than the judgment of the Prophet ﷺ or of Al-Islam, then he is a disbeliever. In other words, if you think the other systems, other ideologies, better than Deen al-Islam, this takes you out of Islam. That's simple. If you think this ideology, this system, is better than what Allah has given, or equal to it, or better than it, this takes you out of Islam. Because a deen, divine, came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to equate it with the product of a human being is not fair. Because the human being is, first of all, ignorant. Man by nature is ignorant. He doesn't know. Though he is arrogant. Ignorant and arrogant. This is the problem. Man is ignorant and arrogant. He thinks he knows when he doesn't. He thinks he knows when he doesn't. For example, see our life. How many things around us caused by man and now it is giving and it is backfiring. For example, who polluted the environment? Who polluted the environment? Who? Who caused the break or the rupture in the ozone layer. Who? Man. Human beings. 
out of their jahal, ignorance. They didn't think about the consequences. So man, first of all, ignorant, arrogant, and at the same time, his knowledge is limited. He doesn't know what will happen tomorrow. But Allah, Al-Ali, the all know, he knows. And he knows what is going to happen tomorrow. Human beings, they don't. Man is jahil, ignorant. This is the nature of a human being. And we don't know what will happen tomorrow. So even if we make a law, that law will be full of flaws and loopholes because we will not be able to predict what will happen. So we cannot accommodate the future events and provide solutions for them. We don't know. Don't you see all the constitutions of all the countries had gone through many revisions and amendments, and every time the constitution will be amended, and new things will be added, things will be removed. Why? Because this is reflects and shows that man doesn't know. There are certain things that the law doesn't take care of. So there should be a revision. It has to be revised. Whereas the law of Allah, no loopholes, perfect and applicable for all times. So to say that this system is better than what Allah has chosen is very dangerous. And this takes one out of Islam. And Allah rebukes us and warns us Muslims. When he said, subhanahu wa ta'ala, أَفَحُكْمَ الْجَاهِلِيَّةِ يَبْغُونَ وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنَ اللَّهِ حُكْمًا لِقَوْمٍ يُوْقِنُونَ Do they then seek the judgment of the days of ignorance? And who is better in judgment than Allah? لِقَوْمٍ يُوْقِنُونَ For a people who have firm faith. This is istifham, a question, a question to us. Don't you feel shame of yourself? You prefer hukm al The judgment of the days of ignorance? See, jahiliyyah, ignorance, because it's based on jahl, ignorance, not ilm, divine guidance. This guidance would lead them to their destination and they will reach safely and they will prosper in this life and the life to come. They leave this book and they follow other than the book of Allah. They seek other than the guidance came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this regard, he says, أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ يَزْعُمُونَ أَنَّهُمْ آمَنُوا بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ يُرِيدُونَ أَنْ يَتَحَاكَمُوا إِلَى الطَّاغُوتِ وَقَدْ أُمِرُوا أَنْ يَكْفُرُوا بِهِ وَيُرِيدُ الشَّيْطَانُ أَنْ يُضِلَّهُمْ ضَلَالًا بَعِيدًا Let us reflect on this ayah. Surah An-Nisa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Alam tara. Have you not seen? This is talking to the Prophet sallallahu Alam tara ila alladheen yaz'umoon. Haven't you seen those who claim? They claim. Yaz'umoon. Annahum amanu. They claim that they are believers. They're not believers. They claim is Rumun. Mm. Because the true Iman, what's the true Iman? What is the true belief? The true belief is to bow, to obey what your Lord says. Sami'na wa ata'na. That's the Iman. وَمَا كَانَ لِمُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا مُؤْمِنَةٍ إِذَا قَضَى اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ أَمْرًا 
أن يكون لهم الخيرة من أمرهم It's not befitting a believing man or believing woman when Allah decrees the matter or his messenger إذا قضى الله ورسوله أمرا أن يكون لهم الخيرة من أمرهم to have any choice no choice except we are servants of Allah we hear and obey but to claim that you are a mu'min yet ألم ترى إلى الذين يزعمون أنهم آمنوا بما أنزل إليك yes we are Muslims yes we are believers and they claim that they believe in what is revealed to you ما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك and what was revealed before you you read all they want أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت yet after this claim that they believe in you O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and they believe in these scriptures that came down before you يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت my dear brothers and sisters stay tuned we'll be back inshallah after the break Welcome back, my dear brothers and sisters and dear viewers. We were discussing before the break Surah An-Nisa, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned those who claim that they are mu'min and yet they seek the judgment of other than Allah's judgment or the Prophet's hukum, judgment. أَلَمْ تَرَى إِلَى الَّذِينَ يَزْعُمُونَ أَنَّهُمْ آمَنُوا بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت وقد أمروا أن يكفروا به ويريد الشيطان أن يضلهم ضلالا بعيدا وما أنزل من قبلك so they claim that they believe in you and they believe in that which came before you the previous revelation and yet يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت they want to go to the طاغوت to go for judgment to the Taghut, false, not to the law of Allah. يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت وقد أمروا أن يكفروا به. While they have been ordered in the Quran to reject them, to reject the Taghut. We are going to explain what is the Taghut. ويريد الشيطان أن يضلهم ضلالا بعيدا. But Shaytan, Satan, which is to lead them far astray. يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت. What is طاغوت? طاغوت is anything that is worshipped besides Allah. Anything worshipped besides Allah is called طاغوت. فرعون is a طاغوت. Anything that is worshipped, whether it is object of being worshipped, or that person who is being worshipped is satisfied and content, and happy to be worshipped is Taghut, like Fir'aun. Fir'aun is a Taghut because he called the people to worship him. So he's a Taghut. Shaitan is a Taghut. So anything worshipped is Taghut. A person who judges by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed is a Taghut. So anything worshipped is a Taghut. يريدون أن يتحاكموا إلى الطاغوت. وقد أمروا the Muslims, the believers who were commanded where وقد أمروا أن يكفروا به in Surah Al-Baqarة فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد استمسك بالعروة الوثقى لم في صام لها والله سميع عليه. There Allah سبحانه وتعالى is saying whoever disbelieves in the Taghut فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغُوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ You disbelieve in the Taghut, the false objects of worship, anything worships besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to disbelieve in them. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغُوتِ You have first of all to disbelieve. This is the deen of Islam. This is the kalimah, as we explained in previous episodes. Negation precedes Affirmation. Kufr precedes Iman. So here, فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ First of all, you have to disbelieve in anything that is worshipped besides Allah. 
فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فدسبليف ذن بليف دسبليف ان بليف ان الله سبحانه وتعالى فمن يكفر بالطاغوت ويؤمن بالله فقد مسترلي استمسك he has grasped the trustworthy hand hold al urwa hand hold al wuthqa the trustworthy hand hold al urwa al wuthqa lam fisam alaha it will not break it will not be untied it's firm wa qad umiru an yakfuru bih they were commanded to disbelieve in the taghut is a condition of the iman not to go to the taghut the quran tells you disbelieve in the taghut not to go to the taghut seeking judgment seeking the hukum wa qad umiru an yakfuru bih they were commanded to disbelieve bihi who is this the taghut wa yuridu shaytan shaytan who's working around the clock who's your open enemy who will never spare any effort in misleading the children of adam wa yuridu shaytan shaytan has a target and the highest the top item in his agenda is to make become disbeliever to become kafir that's the best for him if he manages to make you disbelieve and commit kufr that's his ambition if he fails then he will okay be content with anything less than that inna ma yad'u hizbahu liyakunu min ashab as-sa'id he calls his partners his party to be among with him ashab as-sa'id the people of hell wa yuridu ash-shaytan so the shaytan wishes an yudillahum dalalan ba'ida shaytan wishes to lead them far astray so here in this ayah surah an-nisa allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying whoever prefers the judgment of other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not a mu'min though he claims to be a mu'min the fifth nullifier the fifth nullifier whoever hates something that the messenger came with man kariha shay'an min deen ar-rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam even though he may act on it has disbelief this is very dangerous nullifier and that is to hate to hate the deen of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam or any part of the deen of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam this deen that came from allah so if you hate it from the bottom of your heart for example if a sister hates the hijab hates it there in her heart she hates it this takes you out of islam not putting the hijab out of laziness weakness of iman that is a sin but to hate it why allah send it down why allah instruct the muslim women to cover themselves if you hate it it's a big problem because you hate the deen you hate the deen but if you lack to practice the deen out of laziness we ask two sisters they're not wearing hijab the first one why my dear sister why are you not wearing the hijab she said it's not a must i don't believe in it i'm not convinced about it i don't accept it but sister it is there in surah al ahzab i don't believe in it wow <laughs> this is very dangerous sister you are kissing goodbye to the islam you are leaving you are coming out this is apostasy this is ridda we ask the second sister oh my dear sister why are you not wearing your hijab say please sheikh make dua for me i want to wear it 
but my iman is weak. Pray to Allah to strengthen my iman. Inshallah, one day I'll put it on. I love it, but I can't wear it because my iman is weak. We say, Barakallah feek. May Allah strengthen your iman. And inshallah, one day you'll put it on. They're not the same. Those two sisters, one of them became kafira. He left Islam. The other one is Muslimah, who's a sinner. I want you to remember, Iblis disobeyed Allah. Adam alayhi salam disobeyed Allah. Right? Both of them, they disobeyed Allah. Allah accepted the repentance of Adam, and he did not give hidayah to Iblis. Both they disobeyed Allah. But Adam disobeyed Allah out of weakness, human weakness. Human weakness. Whereas Iblis disobeyed Allah out of arrogance. So anyone who is arrogant and does not believe and reject Allah's law and Allah's judgment, this will take him out of Islam. And we will elaborate more, inshallah. Adam disobeyed Allah. Shaitan disobeyed Allah, but this disobedience is not the same. Because Adam disobeyed Allah out of weakness, ignorance. Whereas Iblis disobeyed Allah out of arrogance, rejecting the commands of Allah. minhu So he's rejecting the command of Allah. So to reject the command of Allah, the teachings of Allah, that takes one out of Islam. And of course, we will be elaborating more, inshallah, on these matters. And here also, I want to emphasize that when we say this will take you out of Islam, we are talking about X person, general ruling, because there are two rulings in the Sharia, hukmun am, hukm khas, general ruling, and specific one. I cannot say this sister is kafira. No, no, no. Though what you have said is a disbelief. Maybe she is ignorant. There are conditions should be fulfilled, etc. My dear brothers and sisters, we reach the end of today's episode. Looking forward in the coming episode, inshallah. Till then, may Allah protect you, may Allah preserve you, and may Allah guide all of us to the state path. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.